What's up everyone today I'm gonna talk you about the cars of Cyberpunk 2077. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy playing video games, you undoubtedly already know that the expansive retro sci-fi role-playing game Cyberpunk 2077 has arrived along with the new PS5 and Xbox Series X. If you're well organized, you might even have pretended to die already to free up enough room in your journal to enjoy it. You might not be aware, though, of how much this game caters to fans of all things automotive. For cruising around in the game's enormous metropolis of Night City, developer CD Projekt Red has created a broad array of retro-futuristic, 80s-inspired vehicles. Additionally, Johnny Silverhand, played by Keanu Reeves, has created his own original remix of a renowned vehicle associated with the decade of synthesizers, highly flammable hairstyles with neon lights. Find out exactly what you'll be driving in the Cyberpunk 2077 universe by reading on. A world that, by 2020 standards, appears to be reasonably happy, despite its likely intention to be grim and gloomy. Quadra Turbo RV Tech The Quadra Turbo RV Tech, the game's protagonist vehicle, has side straights akin to those on a Testarossa and, in keeping with the mythology of the game, was created as an accessible US challenge to the dominance of Japanese sports cars. Naturally, it has a V8, but with 740 horsepower from a turbocharger. It's not exactly clear whether the VTEC in the name refers to VTEC, the manufacturer of those annoying electronic children's toys, or to Honda's VTEC variable valve timing technology. It's practically difficult to know for sure in this game. Chevillon Thrax You should probably choose the Chevillon Thrax if you'd rather drift imperiously over the streets of Night City, while letting the bodies and bullets merely bounce off your body panels. The Thrax is a fully armored limousine that is so lengthy it probably already arrived at your destination before you even left, and it is preferred by Corpos, the wealthy, mega group. Classy by the standards of Cyberpunk 2077, though probably more suitable for a chauffeur than for actual driving. Thorton Galena Even inhabitants of glimmering Cyberpunk metropolises want a dependable first vehicle, and the Thorton Galena seems to be just that. The fictional Galena, which is obviously based on the MK1 VW Golf was commissioned by the government as inexpensive transportation to keep the working class satisfied during a devastating recession. Not to sound ungrateful, but they might have thought about having all the body panels the same color. Just a thought. Archnaz RCD. The Archnaz RCD is based on the Method 143 motorcycle from ultra-low-volume Californian manufacturer Arch making it one of just a handful of cars in the game that you could theoretically go out and purchase. Until you learn that Keanu Reeves, the game's leading man, is a co-founder of the corporation, the brand may seem an odd addition in a science fiction game set about 50 years in the future. It also helps that it resembles a tool Judge Dredd might use to tinker with on his day off. Mark a guy my my. This zippy little Japanese econobox, which looks like a combination between a K-car and the Johnny Cab from Total Recall, isn't going to be winning any street races, of which there are many in Night City. If you ever used a parking place in a video game as opposed to just mounting the pavement at speed and springing out of the driver's side door, it is easy to maneuver through dense traffic and would be a breeze to park. Porsche 911 Turbo, 930. It makes fitting that Keanu Reeves, the main character in Cyberpunk 2077, would have his own exclusive in-game vehicle. In a work of fiction, Johnny Silverhand, who gets his name from the fact that he actually has a silver robotic hand, was the late lead singer of the group Samurai. Because of this, this modified Porsche 930, which was made throughout the 1980s, has a body that is primarily made of bare metal and a huge band emblem on the back. The design of the car hasn't really changed much, but the changes that have been made are mostly subtle. The rear view camera has replaced the wing mirrors, and the iconic whale tail spoiler has been given a few subtle sci-fi flourishes. Given that Reeves' character isn't going to be utilizing it, 
and instead exists as a sort of digital ghost inside player character vs head by the time the game starts, we're hopeful we'll get a chance to test it out for ourselves. Oh, and in the game's fiction, this specific 911 turbo rolled off the Porsche assembly line in 1977, a nice round century before the events of the game, according to CD Projekt Red. Awfully convenient. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting please share the video among your friends. I see you guys in the next video.